The day after a night of the worst fighting Kyiv has seen since World War II, Volodymyr Zelensky appeared on Twitter, tired yet smiling, reassuring Ukrainians that he had not fled in fear. Fighting disinformation and shoring up a nation's courage, Zelensky, the comedian who became the president after playing one on TV, is not going anywhere, setting an example for others to do the same. I'm now in patrol. Everybody has Kalashnikov. Like many citizens, Denis Skarovsky has taken up arms. It's inspiring everybody to fight. We caught him on a break from patrolling a neighborhood in Kyiv. It didn't last I'm long. Sorry, I, I must have stopped. Bye. In this ever present danger, Ukraine's president could have been written off as an unlikely candidate for the hero role. Walty. Before taking office, he was better known for his comedic chops and even his dance moves. But his everyman appeal won him a landslide victory in 2019 as he vowed to negotiate a peace settlement with Russia. Natalia Konenko Friesen is the director of the Canadian Institute for Ukrainian Studies in Edmonton. He was an anti corruption president. He was a person who had promised to resolve the military conflict. He was Russian-speaking Jewish entertainment guru from Eastern Ukraine. He had combined in himself the qualities of, uh, of, a, of a leader, but also uh, qualities of a citizen. Russia's pretext to denazify Ukraine is considered absurd given Zelensky is Jewish and lost most of his family in the Holocaust and has only added to global support, says Konenko Friesen. His current efforts and his current speeches are helping Western democracies to come united in the fight against the authoritarian, near-imperialistic expansion of Putin's regime. Zelensky has said he is Russia's number one target and his family the second. But he dismissed Washington's offer to get him out, saying he needed ammunition, not a ride. We're all very proud of him. This is the most asked question that... Christina Corbin's TikTok video on why she and her daughter are also still in Ukraine has been viewed millions of times. Zelensky's courage helps, she says. I mean, obviously it's scary, but it definitely gives us a lot of hope, for sure. And it makes us proud, and it's like, it makes me proud that I'm here too, you know, and I'm not just like running from my home. Zelensky says he is determined to fight while keeping the door open to diplomacy. But while his fate is unclear, his legacy of loyalty is not. We are still here, he says in this video. His words, a promise too. Joanna Brumaliotis, CBC News, Toronto.